inserting a bobbin in a drop-in bobbin machine means taking a look at the picture that is drawn on the door. Now this is the proper way that the thread needs to come off the bobbin. It's kind of off the left hand side so it'll kind of spin counterclockwise if you give it a little pull in here. Now do note that you want to make sure you don't have any thread sticking out of the top of this like from when you wound the bobbin. Just make sure that there's no extra threads sticking out or even wrapped back in and underneath it. It needs to be perfectly smooth. Bring the thread down to about six o'clock here and if you put your finger on the bobbin while pulling the thread up to the side, it's only from here to here that the bobbin has tension. That little groove is where the thread needs to sit. And once we bring it up to above the throat plate, you'll notice that this thread will kind of sit in this area, kind of going towards the back of the machine. So if you ever look inside your machine and don't see that thread going through that area, and you just notice it's going just up from the back side up through the throat plate, your bobbin is not in the tension, so you're definitely not going to get good looking stitches. So drop it in, bring the thread all the way around, or even flip it over the other side and then bring it down because that's actually what will be easiest. Click it in, you may or may not hear the click, and then to bring the bobbin thread up to the top of the machine, hold the threaded needle and turn your hand wheel one full stitch and bring this thread up the middle of the foot and pull the bobbin thread up. That's that extra loop there. So once that comes all the way to the top, take your two threads down underneath the presser foot and then replace the cover over the bobbin area. Now you're ready to sew. Guaranteed to have good stitching and you can even see through this little clear window the thread in the tension disc and then up through and towards the back side of the machine.